30 seconds. Just give everyone else who's logging in a chance to finish. Uh, welcome to our members here. We've got some current members. G'day, welcome. Okay, let's turn off the music. Let's get the show on the road. I'm already recording. So uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening traders. It's great to be here and um, I hope you're here for an hour and a half, two hours of really discovering some extremely interesting concepts. Uh, you will learn, and if you've got a pad handy, please grab that. <laughs> I'm getting a little, I'm just look, quickly reviewing my notes here. Uh, the session is revo uh, recorded, so if you do need to uh, leave early, we will email the uh, recording out to you, but stay to the end and you'll pick up a great deal of information, I promise you. Now, uh, I do need to pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money. Well, actually, one of our members, Trader Bougie, he's called out of Canada. Uh, Trader Bougie says, well, what if you're consistently profitable? What's wrong with using the rent money? So I suppose I should reframe that, that uh, don't trade with the rent money until you're consistently profitable. And if you're watching the recording, please feel free to pause the recording. There is a risk in trading. So in today's masterclass, I'm gonna be teaching you how to fish. So I'm gonna be going through a lot of background information, which is absolutely essential to understanding the setups, the strategies, and how I come across them. And so I run a live trade room, and as I say to, to traders joining the live trading room, you know, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach him how to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. And that's really what I'm about, is really about teaching traders how to trade, how to learn and master the art of day trading themselves. Who's who's this masterclass for? Anyone that may be seeking a part-time or full-time income, if you're brand new to trading or if trading hasn't been good to you up till now. I would estimate that probably 75% of the traders that join me uh, actually have got some level of experience except it just hasn't worked out for them up till now. Well, hopefully I can turn that around for you. Now, I mentioned we're gonna be covering a lot of information in today's webinar, because I want you to come and join me at the end. I want you to say, I want what Ray's got. I wanna go and join his coaching classes. I want to join his live trading room. I want his trading program. And so I need to show you that you know, I've, I've earned the right to have you on board. So we're gonna be talking about my blueprint, um, uh, how a committed trader can master the art of day trading in, in very little time. And actually, let me take that back. Uh, look, I don't know if anyone truly ever masters the art of day trading. I mean, I still, after 27 years, learn something new every day. So perhaps I should say, you know, um, master how to day trade on my, Look, I'll take that back, forget it, okay? How to start with a small account. As you can see, traders, I won't go through it all because I really wanna get into it. Now, a couple of things that are absolutely critical that I will cover with you, and some of you may have seen some of my videos on YouTube where I talk about trading with floor pivots, the open high, low and close, the major EMAs. And just now, just on the ES and on the Aussie dollar, I'm gonna show you that um, Just we've just been bouncing off them right now. The major EMAs, particularly when they're Fibonacci based, fractal based timeframes, that is the timeframes that I use is something very unique about them. It's not rocket science, but it's unique. And we're gonna be talking about some of the world's best day trading strategies. Now you may say, oh yeah, come on Ray, but wait till you see how I've come across them. So why should you listen to me? I'm gonna make this quick, but this is important that I have you at least sitting back thinking, well, perhaps he has got something to share with me that's useful. Now I'll show you how I first got going in the business 27 years ago, but since then, I've employed full-time traders to trade my account, CTAs, programmers, you name it, I've bought it, I've been out there, I've done the hard yards. And so 
20 odd years ago, 27, a bit over, it's getting close to 28. That's where it all started. Back then I used to have brown hair. Now I'm totally gray. <laughs> um, and how it actually started traders was, I was a business owner. I'd made a lot of money in a couple of businesses and I'd sold them. And I thought, uh, um, you know, this would be great to get involved in day trading because I, and by the way, I was in the construction business. I don't know if you know what underpinning is and house removal, but I had Victoria's largest, that's in Australia, uh, uh, underpinning business. And we were doing house removal, underpinning, all sorts of things like that. But I was back then, I was dealing with unions and it was a nightmare. So I don't even remember how I come across the concept of day trading. But anyway, I started day trading stocks and options. And in Australia, it's really tough, particularly with the options, because down under, we've got the market makers who really savage you. But along the way, I'd been introduced to futures trading. Now, I dabbled in futures, particularly the Australian market called the SPY. And that looked fantastic. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll fast track and I'll employ some traders to come and trade for me. So I used to live in the city. I, this is my apartment, if anyone knows Melbourne, St Kilda Road. So I lived in one of the apartments there. I had a good life uh, and I leased an office in Exchange Tower in Little Collins Street in Melbourne and open up a trading floor. So I employed a couple of traders to come and work for me to trade my account. And I did a deal whereby I uh, paid them a salary and 20% of the profits. The only problem was traders, there were no profits. My account dropped from 800,000 US. Now remember, this is 20 odd years ago. That's a lot of money. It was probably, I don't know, one and a half million uh, in today's terms. Down to, what was it, eight weeks later, I was down to 369,000 and they come up with every excuse. And the reason, by the way, we called it the bat cave was uh, one of the bedrooms, I blacked out the windows with black cardboard because we were trading the ES. And so the ES during is really overnight in my market. So I'd go back to the bat cave to try to sleep during the day. But let me tell you, I was not getting too much sleep with the losses that I was making. However, I was so darn determined to succeed at this. Fortunately, I had a lot more than $800,000. So I thought I'm gonna start on this journey and I wanna go out and I'm gonna get this. I'm going to master this. Now, fortunately, back then, I'd been introduced to the concepts of uh, Tony Robbins and neuro-linguistic programming. I did my first NLP course uh, in the early 80s. Uh, I'm 60, nearly 63, by the way. And I discovered that success leaves clues. So what I started to do was to go out there and buy just about everything that was in the market. You name it, I bought it. I put a couple of full-time employee, employees on, and I don't have it in this PowerPoint, but I had a guy called, um, Steve Galjard, I had uh, Graham Capel and all doing back testing and research for me. I was that damn committed to this. And so over the years, I started to put together a, a huge amount of information. And, and I look at myself as being a modeler and a strategy hacker. If somebody can do something well, I know it can be replicated. In fact, if we look at the story of Roger Bannister, of course, uh, no one ever be believed what he could do in, what was it, he broke the one minute mile, but within six months, a whole heap of people had, had also done it. But what I realised, traders, that if I could come across a great trader and find out what he was doing, copy the syntax, that is the order of things, it could be modelled. So over the years, I've had, uh, um, and just not, me doing all of these, but I've had my staff put together a huge amount of information. Now, you may be thinking, what has this got to do with me? With, with, how's this gonna help me? Well, it's gonna help you enormously as you're going to see in a moment. I'd also invested, um, uh, it, it is tens of thousands of dollars in indicators. If you look at the indicators or the trading strategies that I've purchased, there are hundreds of them. 
you name it, I've probably got it or I've had it coded. Okay, so I've been down the road that most traders spend years and years, except I was in the position to be able to fast track it because fortunately I had the money to do so. Now, if any of you are already in trading, you'd know what fractals are. And so fractals are, Bill Williams unfortunately passed away a couple of uh, years ago now, but his uh, daughter and son-in-law still run their business profitunity. But Bill wrote these two books and he actually, this one here on trading chaos, even new trading dimension, there was some breakthrough information on trading fractals, which is something that occurs in nature. So I had Steve uh, spend at least a year going through fractals and we discovered that if you trade fractals, particularly using it for trend line breaks, it kicks butt big time. And we come up with a, a fantastic strategy for trading Forex and fractals. In fact, Tom DeMarc, in his book, he's even trademarked, and I don't know how he does it, but it will actually he's trademarked the name Tom DeMarc uh, trend lines, I think he calls them. But in my opinion, all they are is really fractal um, uh, trend line breaks and just the way he will draw them. And we found that uh, with Forex particularly, or, or actually I shouldn't say that, with any good trending market, you use fractal points for drawing your trend lines and it kicks butt, it does really well. And uh, so with Forex, it was absolutely uh, brilliant, but that was only one of the strategies that we put together. Then uh, I hired uh, John Shearley, who, who used to be uh, also a, a CTA. And John was very unique and that is, well, maybe he wasn't, but he was brilliant at that is he wrote a great book on energy trading using advanced trading strategies, particularly uh, the Texas tea oil. Uh, and he was also a CTA and uh, a, an expert programmer at coding uh, TradeStation had some incredible skills. He just knew TradeStation backwards. And so I had him uh, go and code all sorts of things and back test not in the end, not only on uh, TradeStation, but we're also doing it on MT4. Because going back uh, 12, 13 years ago, one of the challenges we had with um, TradeStation was the Rinko's that they had didn't have tails. And I won't go into all of that right now, but that, that created a problem for knowing where you wanted to truly put your stop loss, which is very, very important. Anyway, what we discovered was over a period of time and using some of our standard uh, strategies, such as the 21 Bs, combined with our double tops and double bottoms, that the strategies kicked up. And they were just doing incredibly uh, well, trading double tops, double bottoms, and this is, and it's no different today, by the way. And we put together a, an indicator that we still use today, which is what, it's called the MACD Platinum Indicator. And for the experienced traders, nothing to hide here, it's just a zero lag MACD that's very sensitive, very tight settings. And by the way, traders, um, you can replicate that indicator on a standard MACD, just using um, a, a very odd combination of um, inputs on there. And so we'd spent a lot of time on this because I still had the goal of employing traders, but where the traders went wrong initially was they kept ch changing the rules. And every time I went into the office, uh, they were down, oh, but we thought we'd move this, we'd move the stop, we'd do this. Now, this is 20 odd years ago and I was just, just believe these. And by the way, one of them came from a major bank. And what I discovered in the bank environment, when you've got a floor manager, is totally different. It's totally different the way they trade it. But anyway, then going back, um, uh, what is it now, 12, 13 years ago, I got so excited by the whole potential and using John, I then purchased the domain name wetradeforyou.com for 8,000 USD, which I still own. Uh, and let me just say, I'm not a licensed funds manager or CTA, and that's what John, I was gonna do with John, and I don't trade on behalf of my members. It's not a solicitation for money here, but I've still got We Trade For You. Because what I then planned is I was living in the US at that time uh, in Santa Monica. 
So in Broadway, where my office was, I'd moved to the US. And by the way, I've got four of my adult children live in the US. Is uh, I was going to open up a trading floor and do it over there. But anyway, long story short, we've got a, a daughter going to university here and time's getting away and whatever. So that just hasn't come to fruition. And so the last five or six years, I've been training traders in my strategies, how to day trade. And everyone from trading Forex through to stocks, through to uh, futures. And um, I'm not a massive trader. The maximum size lots I will trade is 10 lots at a time. My typical size is only five contracts at a time. I am not a 100 lot trader because lots of traders say, man, why, why aren't you trading 100 lots? You've got the money, you're well to do. Well, traders, it comes down to your comfort level. And what I say to traders, there are old traders, there are bold traders, but there are no old bold traders. The fact is there are very few individual traders that trade 100 lots on their own account. Yes, you might have um, uh, uh, who you've got there, Marty Swartz, but he's one of the rare ones. Okay, there's not a whole lot that'll do that. They'll trade where they feel comfortable. So I'm going to be talking to you how to actually earn two to five, ten thousand dollars a week. We're going to go through a little trading plan here with you. And before any of you start to turn your nose up and say, "Oh, well, here we go," you know, well, you perhaps you're in the wrong webinar because what I've discovered, traders, that until you have a firm goal in mind, something to aim for, you're not going to achieve it. Now, I've now got over 10,000 members. I have over 300 traders uh, in five classes a week in individual um, classes, okay? So I've got hundreds of traders. And so what I've come to learn and, and being a teacher of neurolinguistics, by the way, I've got to just got to say, I'm not a practitioner but I teach it to my members. Uh, it's so important you put a, a realistic goal in place, realistic. And when I say realistic, we never, ever, ever, did I say ever, risk any more than 2%. In fact, I have a whole range of tools that members will use on different markets, say trade, et cetera, on risk and intraday margins, et cetera, how much they need to realistically trade with. Because this is a business. And the only way you're going to make money and succeed is if you treat it that way. I have a, have a gut full traders of traders that blow 50, 100, 500,000. The stories that I see and have people even purchase my course will go away because they break the money management rules. Um, traders, if you break the rules when it comes to trading, the trading gods come and, and drain your trading account. So I'm going to show you what we do about that. But it's, it's you know, you've got to, it's not rocket science, but you've got to follow the rules. So well, we won't spend too much on this, but let's quickly look at a realistic plan for the average person, right? You might already be an experienced trader and profitable. And what I say to experienced traders, you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. In other words, you look at what I teach you and you say, what could to yourself, what can I use what Ray teaches to improve what I'm already doing? So let's quickly look at a couple of realistic targets. This is realistic if you follow the rules. Now for most people, 5,000 a week would be a game changer. How do you realistically achieve this? And we've got quite a few members here, traders, my members here, you know this, okay? So let's go down this road. If you go for only $100 a day, uh, and you're already, uh, you've probably just already done that on the on the uh, Aussie dollar when we go to it in a minute, uh, just $100 a day on 10 lots, that's 1,000 uh, a day. And you all go for 200. If you're trading, say, during the New York hours, and that's a, a thing that comes up. Ray, what's a realistic target and what I say to traders is a realistic target I've really got down to a fine art now $100 a day per $2,000 of capital because if you're trading during the New York hours you need a greater amount of capital 
to stay within a 2% rule because the markets are moving much faster. Therefore, we trade a higher time frame. And so what we've got is the tools here that'll show you which market you, or you can trade with the capital. And it doesn't matter whether it be Forex, stocks or futures, okay? So there's a formula that we use. Now, let's just say here, if you decide to trade the ES or CL with a $4,000 account. Now, very quickly, I'll go through these quickly. So what we've got to cover is this. Your broker will tell you, you might only need $500 in your account as a day trading margin. That may be true, but that's not staying within the 2% rule. That is, your typical stop loss is going to be around $80 or six ticks on the ES or eight ticks on the black gold on oil. For new traders, you'll pick this up in trading very quickly. So let's look at a conservative basis of only $100 a day, which is a couple of trades a day. Okay, $100, you've got the potential there to be up to 10 grand a week in 30 weeks. And how this table works, and naturally you'll get a copy of this compound table. Okay, so it allows you to, here it is here, you can answer and, and change it any way you wish. But whoops, let me get back to that slide. Where are you? Where have you gone? Here, is you only start trading your second contract after you double your money. So here it says you need to have $4,000 in your account. You only start trading two contracts when you've got eight. Only start trading three when you've got 12. Traders, this is how you do it. And this is where so many traders go wrong. They have a great winning streak, then all of a sudden they ratchet up their money, they start risking 5% of trade, etc. That's not how you do it. Get rich slowly. Now we get up to 150 a day, you're on 10 grand a week in 18 weeks on this basis. Get up to 200 and if you're trading, say right now during the Globex session or New York session, that's, ex well, on the low side, New York just depends how you're trading, but the potential there, and we'll just go for one more, New York realistically, 300 a day for trading the New York hours. And remember here, an income down here of 50, 60,000 a week, Look how many weeks you can do that in. Now, I do have to say this. Over here then, I'm pointing out, this is on a $4,000 account. Realistically, when you're trading during the New York hours to stay within the 2% rule, you need 8,000, okay? Uh, and if you stay within that rule, you're gonna succeed in this business. Now, what if you don't have four, eight, 10,000, or even if you do, I say to wealthy people, or those potential traders or new traders that perhaps already are financially secure or have got some good cash, go and invest most of it. Keep 5,000 free, start on the micros because it's better that you make all of the mistakes that you're going to make on a small account rather than the big one. Because um, what, what happens is the amount of trade is what I call psychological damage, psychologically damage is incredible. They go and blow their account once or twice, maybe three or four times. Their confidence is shot. It takes, if it can ever be repaired. So start with a micro. And as I trade in the room in front of the members, $50 a day, and this is over 90 minutes to two hours, is extremely realistic, you now picking up the 50 to 90, and you'll see why that's relevant in a moment, okay? Uh, that's extremely relevant, okay? And those that you that um, you can see their surname at the end there, so you know it's not a SIM account. So it's extremely realistic in achieving this trade. So let's look at this, because you start with a small account, you build your confidence and your competence in that time, then you can jump up to a big contract. Now, here for an example, if you're trading a 12 tick Renko on the micro NQ, and fortunately now they've got the micros for the ES, the NQ, the Dow, the Russell, uh, you've got the micro on oil um, now, which is, uh, so it's 10% of the value. So over here, You'd normally need 10,000, 
but you're achieving $500 a day. Oops. 500, that's a 5% potential return. Now, if you start on $50, on a 1,000 account, achieve $50 a day, you've, there you're 10 grand a week in 18 weeks. Once again, just doubling, wait until you double the amount. Now, um, just so if you're wondering here, you wouldn't be trading 100 micros because um, with the micros traders, uh, say with Ninja Trader, you're gonna be trading, if you've got a lifetime license with their platform, you'd be paying a $1.12 commission. Uh, on the big contract, you'd be paying $4.08. So that's, that's $11.20 compared to uh, $4.08. So you, you'd go to the big contract once you build your account, okay? So you wouldn't be trading 100, you'd be trading 10 lots at that stage. Now, all we need is three seven-step trades a day, and you'll see what I mean about that soon, okay? Uh, and of course, you can do the, as I mentioned, that the same thing with the micro at $700 or 400, it really doesn't matter. Now, what if you say, we've got to reduce it further? Say if you're still skeptical, I couldn't do it, I can't do it. Let's make it $10 a day. That's one to two net trades a day. I'm gonna show you soon how we do that, okay? But what if it's only $10 a day? It's gonna take you 32 weeks to build your account to $4,000. So typically you're probably gonna do an hour a day. But let me also say this, an hour a day, you really need to be trading two hours a day. And I'll tell you why, is that this is a pattern solving exercise. And we'll have periods where it'll be dead for an hour traders. The market won't be moving. So realistically, it is a two hour a day business, okay, realistically. Now, once you get to 4,000, uh, then within 30 weeks, you're up to 10 grand a week. Now, if we look at this uh, mathematically, it's taking you 62 weeks to get to a, a $10,000 a week income with only $700. And that's on $10 a day. And in the end, you're rolling out, you're earning $100 a day per large lot. That's it. The fact is though, most people won't put the time in it, but time will pass anyway. This ain't rocket science, but everyone's sold on, let's get rich quick, but that's not the reality. Get rich slowly is. Now, last of all, and because we're gonna be looking at this market in a moment, what if you like trading Forex? Well, as you probably gathered, I used to be a full-time and we started out trading uh, the ES, then we went to Forex, then went to both where I'm trading the, the futures and uh, Forex. Now I'm purely a, uh, a futures contract trader. Now, but if you do like Forex, and what, what I love about um, the currency futures contracts is that it's a contract that's manufactured by the CME. It's, you've got a fixed commission on it. There's no market makers playing with your money, etc. cetera. Uh, it's fantastic. If you don't have $2,000, because that's what you need to realistically trade this market. And once again, the brokers I know will say you only need $200, but that's not real. Okay, you've got to stay within your 2% rule. You can start on the FX mini lots and build from there. But here, a realistic uh, amount per day is, as you're gonna see here, is $100 a day on either the 6A, which is the Aussie, or the Euro, or the Pound, or the Yen. They're sort of the four main markets. Look, for a full-time trader, uh, 10,000 a week in 10 weeks, if you're up to 150, I would say a realistic uh, target is 125 a day for two to three hours a day is an extremely realistic target. Now, how do we achieve this? Let's start to get into the nitty gritty of this. The first thing is, if you're a trader that's been struggling up till now, or if you're a brand new trader, you follow the Goldilocks rule. And what that means is you learn to focus. That is 
not too hard, not too easy, just right. Rather than start trying to trade five, six, 10 different setups, you focus on one or two trend following strategies only. And this is one of the greatest um, challenges that traders have. For an example, I'm very good at counter trend trading, at, at divergence trading, but I've been doing it a long time. I don't trade divergence live in a room. Do you know why? Because new traders then, oh, I'm gonna start doing it. But I've been doing it that long because divergence trading, it's great to look back on a chart in hindsight. It's what's happening in real time. You start trend trading only. Under no circumstances do you take a counter trend trade, no matter how good the trade setup looks. What that is also doing is developing your skill set in self-trust and patience. Patience, trust and discipline. I also teach members, you focus on one trade at a time, then another, then another. If you can do it once, you can do it again and again. And something that I learned from the late Mark Douglas is, we also think and trade uh, in, in uh, trade lots of 20 improbabilities. We trade like a casino. And what I mean by that, do we, if ever we go and say to the card table or whatever game it is, after we see three or four losses in a row, and that's getting extreme for us at four, uh, do we see them changing the rules or doubling up because I've had four losses in a row? Of course not. You've got to believe in the probabilities and stay within those rules. Now, I've already mentioned to you um, about patterns. Trading truly is a pattern solving exercise. And that is, we see the same patterns in the market each and every day, every single day. For an example, there's one here right now. Let me just, well, just set up a few minutes ago. Let me show you this. This is very, very important. The market opened today. So right now, if you're unfamiliar with the market, we're in what we call the Globex session right now. That is the after, after hours market. So the market closes um, uh, for an hour and then it reopens at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is the timestamp I've got down here. Usually the first five to 10 minutes, uh, first five minutes we have no trades. Now, members in the room that are already in the room, you already know what that is. What is that? That's a 2B, that's a 2B, that's a 2B. Now that may have been a 2B. So you had a 2B, 2B, maybe a 2B, and then we, then we had some major divert, and I'll show you that in a moment. This is really important when I show you this. Remember one of the secrets I told you about was major EMA bounces? Wait till I show you this in a few minutes. But then we have what we call a T20-1. The codes are simple when you understand the codes, they're rules-based. See that, see these blue arrows, see that there? That's the first setup after um, uh, the T20 in a new trend direction, just there. And there was one right there, see that arrow? Now, it doesn't matter what trading platform you've got, the rules for, for what causes those is very simple. So if you don't have NinjaTrader, and by the way, I've got this coded for, for NinjaTrader, and all the indicators you see, I give my members, you don't go, have to go and buy them. But if you've got TradeStation, I've also had it coded, it plots as a, as a dot. But see that there, that's a T20-1, that's a T20-1. Now, each one of these, I call them steps, this is a two tick Renko, by the way, is they're $12.50 each. Okay, so each one of those is $12.50 each. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't take, whoops, daisies, doesn't take long before it starts to mount up. Now, this is trading with the trend. Now, note the orange cloud, note the blue cloud. I want you to write this down, follow the cloud. Let me put that back because I want to get back, but I couldn't help showing you that because there's nothing like seeing something when it's, setting up live or happening live. So both of those were patterns. The, two, um, the T20-1s are patterns. Now, uh, the late Mark Douglas, if you don't already have this book, The Disciplined Trader, this should be your trading Bible. 
you also wrote the other excellent book. Fortunately, Mark passed away, I think, about four or five years ago. I believe it was a heart attack. He was, gee, about my age, too young, too young. But, um, and there's some fantastic videos on YouTube of Mark Douglas. But on page 209, he says, to become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern. Preferably one is mathematical, sorry, mechanical Freudian slip instead of mathematical. So you'll be working with the visual representation of market behavior. And he talks about here that in the meantime, it's important to avoid all other possibilities and information. This is what we call rules-based trading. It makes trading so much easier traders. And this is where traders go wrong. They, you know, and, and like for an example, I showed you some of those mechanical systems before and you can't outthink the market. Why doesn't everyone just do what we did, code trading systems and code the 34B of a T20-1? because the market's only trained 15 to 20% of the time. And it's in chop when you get chopped up. It just doesn't work. Yes, you've got the, um, uh, you know, there's, there's limitations of bots and algorithms are out there, but they're scalping for pennies, not for larger moves. So you wanna start with now, if you've got a pen there, you start with the 2B, the 2B, you start with Y, because it kicks butt. Now, I showed, there were a couple of two Bs on that ES I just showed you. I think there were three or four. One, I think, might have been a loss. But there were three or four in a row, and then your T20-1s are a pretty close second, okay, because they kick butt day in, day out. And what's important is the logic, which I'll explain to you in a moment, behind these setups. Now, you may have already noticed I'm referring to Renko charts. It doesn't matter what type of chart. We've got uh, uh, members that love HAR charts, which is a combination I've put together of, of Renko and Heikinashi together. It smooths it out even more. The advantage of a Renko chart, it smooths out price action. However, it does come to at a cost. The cost is that we lose uh, some of the valuable information that we can, that's useful at times. Okay, it's useful at times. So if I use a combination, I'll refer to tick charts with Renko. We've got members, and I'm not sure if I've got April's screenshot here, but, um, and that's the other thing, we've got a community of traders that submit things almost every day. Um, April's a full-time, well, actually that's not true. She's not a, she attends all of my sessions. She's not a full-time trader, but she's leading up to full-time. She loves, um, har charts and she's even put together a whole PowerPoint presentation for our members how she trades it um, uh, and I'll, I'm not don't think I've got it here but anyway uh, we've got this community of traders providing great information along the way as well so you can apply these setups to any chart type which is important now how do we achieve 75 percent plus winning trades? And that's what really our objective is. And it makes me think of Dick Diamond. And I have I got Dick's, yes, I'll come back to his little page there in a minute. So as Dick Diamond says, if it's not an 80% trade, he won't take it. Marty Swartz, uh, also known as the Pitbull, Marty's 78 now, um, uh, regularly earns uh, 500,000 a month working from home. And he uses, for an example, he's in a trade for no more than five to 10 minutes maximum. And as he says that, uh, you know, everyone says that, you know, as long as you're right 50, 60% of the time, said if I'm not right 80% of the time, uh, I lose money. And how do we do that? We follow the trend. We see the same patterns. We buy the dips and sell the rallies. We go with the flow of the river. And we, there's some great books written on trend following. How great traders make millions up or down. High probability trading strategies. Robert Miner uh, talks about you using an anchor chart and an entry chart. And that's exactly what we do. That is, we're going to follow traders the higher time frame. Let's go to where most of the fish are. They're swimming with the river. 
So we get a retracement, a pullback, and we buy into that trend. Now, we are going to have counter trend moves. That is, of course, like the tide, it goes in and out. This is one of the, um, can I say, best kept secrets, one of the things that is not emphasized enough. Now, what Dick says in his book is you should try to identify 80-20 trades that will produce a profit four out of five times. Now, hang on to your seat when you see this, okay? And what I mean is you don't have to learn all of these. So after 27 years of live day trading and in the research and development of systems, I've got literally a couple of dozen strategies that kick butt. The only reason they won't work is human error. For an example, Right now on the ES, I just showed you a two tick chart. Now very soon, in another 20 minutes, the, uh, the Tokyo Exchange will open. And if I just show you this here quickly, uh, right now, this is the Aussie dollar. This is, uh, uh, this is $5 for each move. Each what we call tick is worth $5. So once we hit 10 a.m., this should start to pick up. Sometimes it actually will kick from as soon as the market opens. So the market opened here, okay? Remember the term, follow the cloud, okay? So see the blue, you wanna follow the blue, wanna follow the orange, there's a number of reasons for that. So we should see that um, really start to um, move along in about 20 minutes. Now, uh, what was I going to say? Ah, that's right. That leads to the only reason these strategies will not work consistently is usually based around time frames. That is, is the time train, uh, uh, the time frame you are using tradable? And there's actually a formula that I've discovered that works really well for setting up your uh, Renko charts, range and tick charts or time-based charts, the multiples that we use. And what you'll see me trade with generally is using what we call an entry chart and an anchor chart one and anchor chart two. New traders, you only need to have the entry chart and and I won't give away part of a secret source here, but it's, it's really simple and it's so logical. And what we're looking for, by the way, and I've got to say this, I'm looking for multiple EMA bounces on multiple time frames. That then becomes a loaded trade. So let's just say here, if you turn around and said to me that uh, the two Bs are not working, well, it's usually because either human error, that is you failed to execute the trade when it's set up, or the time frame is too fast. That is, you can't get your order in. Okay, so the time frame is very important. Now, what you've got here is a mixture of trend following, breakout, uh, reversal, and counter trend strategies. And you may think, well, why would you want a counter trend strategy then, Ray, if you're telling me that we should only be trading with the trend? You still need to understand counter trend trading because traders, when the market reverses, you don't want to trade against it. Very important. And so what I've discovered with traders, and of course for experienced traders, you'd agree with this. You've got to know which are your best strategies to start with. What indicators do you really need? That is, it's very easy to load our charts up with unnecessary indicators. What are the best chart types? What are the best time frames? You'll see pivots very soon. And as you'll see here on these four things here, if you do not understand these, okay, it's gonna badly hurt your trading account. And if you understand them, it's gonna really stack money in your trading account. Where to enter your trade, your targets and stops, how to identify a trend, when is, it in, when is the trend going to enter? So there are a number of moving parts to really learning this business. But the good news is, yes, I've got PowerPoints for all of for all of these, and yes, 
in my live room, I train traders in all of these, but you only need one or two strategies. And that is, I want you to write the 34B and the 2B. That's all you start with. And if you wanted to really just stick to one, it's the 2B, all right? It kicks butt day in, day out. It's a trend following strategy, okay? That's all you start with is from there. Now, there are some other strategies that work brilliantly hand in hand with the 34B and the 2B. There's things like the, um, I used to call it the pivot magnet, I still do, but Ali, who's been a member for three or four years, he calls it the, uh, the two, we've, he, and here's another case, a member who, um, uh, I won't open it now, who prepared a comprehensive um, PowerPoint for other members. It stays at an 85 to 95% win rate on the ES. Now, why is that? It's a trend following strategy where we buy into a pivot or we sell into a pivot or the prior open high, low and close. In fact, let me show you this. This is, this is going back to the Aussie right now. This is why you need to know about these levels. See that pink line up the top here? Now that was 23 minutes after the market opened. Do you know what that is straight as that pink level? That there is the prior day's low. That's a prior day's low. See this red line here? That's called a pivot. Now these are what we call predictive indicators. Why are they predictive? Well, number one, they're based on the prior day's information on the uh, high, low and close or open high, low and close. These are calculated. But all professional traders trade into these or trade against these. That is, they become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And so when you understand that, like here you had, that's a quarter 34B by the way, that's a pivot magnet trade as well. Just imagine a magnet you're holding up, get it too far away from, from so your piece of metal, it's gonna pick it up, get it really close, it will. And so the closer we are to the magnet point, the better. Now that's trading with the trend. Now this one is not, even though we got a, a bounce, it's not a pivot magnet trade because the trend we were starting to actually trend down. So this is why it's essential traders that you understand where your pivots are. For an example, down here, we've got what we call the S1. And how it works for the new traders, you've got what you call your midline pivot, which is your main pivot, which is right there, see up there, PP. Then under it, you've got S. Now the S stands for support. So as we're selling down, you bounce, we usually bounce, become support. When you're above the pivot, it becomes res um, uh, resistant. So they're called the R1, the R2, the R3. These are the S1s. But here's another great secret for you. And it is a secret, hardly anyone knows about it. Is, and I'll move it over here. It's hard for you to see there, that, but that says S2M. What the M stands for is the midline pivot. That's the 50% level between your one and the two. Now, not all trading platforms have that, have the midline. So if, if you're an experienced trader, you can just drop a Fibonacci tool in there and that will plot your 50% level and just drop in the start of each trading day and just color it differently maybe, but that will give you your midlines, okay? Why is that important? Because we bounce off them. You see, when we rally up like this and we have a bounce, it becomes a loaded trade. Remember before I spoke to you about the T20-1s? Remember I showed you that on the ears? There is one right there, and here is another one right there. See the arrows? It's the first setup after the T20s. And the one just simply means it's the first setup after that. Now here, note here, we, don't, we didn't have one. I've got this one and that's a 34B by the way. 
and but we didn't have one set up close by. They were not going to set up every time, but they set up regularly. Okay, so let me now pull that back up and we'll continue here. So typically you've got a, about an 80 to 80, sorry, an 85 to probably 95% win rate. It doesn't matter which market you're trading these bounces into, whether it be um, the ES, whether it be currency futures, you, you do want markets that trend well. And one little thing for the experienced traders, the further out from your central pivot, the probabilities will drop slightly. So if you get down to the S3 or up to the R3, your probabilities, unless you've got an incredibly strong trend, it drops away. Just like when you trade from the central pivot down to the S1 or up to the R1, you've got about a 92% chance of hitting it. So the further out you go, the less reliable. Now, as members will say, they now swear by the pivots increase your confidence. You know what the great thing about it is? It's a mechanical, uh, right, pivot magnets are kicking some serious, but it's a mechanical trend following strategy, okay? Uh, I talked to, uh, to you about the 34B, and as Ricardo um, uh, said here, and this is going back six years ago, as he said, if in the end, he said, if only we could all learn how to trade like monkeys. Okay, and once again, 34 Bs trading with the trend. Uh, and this is um, this is a screenshot from, we call him Dave from Seattle, by the way. Um, he really specializes in the two Bs and 34 Bs. Uh, doesn't matter which market, here's 34 Bs again. He's up, another member up, uh, 75 ticks. This is only from a few weeks ago. One of the members here just pointing out trading his 34 Bs and there's, we've got a setup called the 21B. Now the 21B is not as accurate. It's still up there in the 70s, but it's not as accurate as a 34B trend following. Now, uh, what was I gonna show you? Now, that's what I want to mention is pivots. On the pivot bounces, so this is um, some of my life trading here. Here, when you have a divergence trade, set up and it's a pivot bounce, it's a loaded trade again. So when you sell into a pivot and you've got some divergence, you bounce off it. Also see these black lines here, this is actually on oil. There are a series of numbers on oil, just not the 74 or 75, where we bounce off oil as well. That there is a pivot magnet trade. That was also a 2B. We sell straight down. Now, while we're here, see this up here. See how I'm bouncing off this major EMA. Remember I said there's four specific areas you've got to learn to master. That is one of them. In, in fact, let me show you this right now because just in case it gets away from us, uh, let's go to the two tick. And let's go, here it is just here. So that pattern you just saw, and believe it or not, this is a pattern. Is that on, let me just quickly make sure this is on global. Uh, where are we here? Where is it? Let's make sure this is on global. So I want to show you this. Okay. So see this point just uh, back a bit further. Here it is. Here's the first one. Remember I said to you that we had a, a 2B, a 2B, I, uh, and no, it wasn't a 2B. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let me explain this. See on your anchor chart. This is called your anchor chart one. <clears throat> see how we've got red candles. Number one, that there and that there, it's not just the standard divergence trade, it's also what we call a T12, a major EMA bounce. Remember this is $12.50 tick. Okay, you get rich on these. So see how you're bouncing off that one there, the T12, and see over here, you're bouncing off the T12. Now I know some of the experienced traders here will say, oh yeah, but Ray, we had divergence here as well. 
Yes, we did. And for my members, you also know that's a bet the farm, but it's a loaded trade because you've got a T12, you're bouncing off higher time frames at the same time. Now, here, why was that? Remember I said to you, I think that may have been, but I wasn't sure. And the reason being was this. See how I had prior red candles. Now at that time, these candles, see that black, that's called a tail, it's called a Renko tail. That would have looked like it was gonna close here, back in the direction of the trend. But on a higher time frame, generally speaking, whenever you've got reversal candles on a higher time frame, you wanna wait for the candle to close back in the direction of your potential trade, okay? So we had one, two, three, four, five. So here we would have been trading against it. And then finally, we had the trade entry. Now over here, uh, we then bounced and we're too be complex. It might even be in this PowerPoint when we get back to it. One of our members, oh, it was Ali again. He calls this a 2B complex. You've got an entry, the first one you ignore, the second one. See the white paint bar? That does not set up until your third candle, by the way. Okay, so, but the anchor chart one candle hasn't closed. So down here, you had a close. Here, you had a close. That's a 34B anyway. Uh, that didn't close. That did close. Now, what about this one? Well, look over on your right. They're all red candles, traders. But what I want to show you there was, you had these bounces there. They're called T12s. So you may remember early in the PowerPoint, I said to you that there were, and by the way, when I talked to you, if it's something to be condescending, by the way, when I said, I said to you, um, that the key areas are, your pivots, the swing high, swing lows, your made, and there's one there, your major EMAs, and your prior days, open high, low, and closes. They're critical, but yet they're all mechanical patterns that we see in the market each and every day. Now, just here, I've got a screenshot from France. Now, France has only been a member for, and he lives in, uh, where was it, South America, I think it was. No, South Africa. And he sent me through a PowerPoint. And he's a new trader, but he sent me through it. So it was complete, he calls it the three musketeers, by the way, that's what he calls it. And he said, with this pattern, one can achieve $50 a day very easily. Um, and he's put, sent through a whole lot of screenshots. It's a pattern that appears using the super scalper. And it's nothing different to, as you'll say here somewhere, it's nothing different than um, what I already teach. And he's put together on Friday, my record's $142. Now, before you say only 142, that's 1,420 on a big contract, okay? And he's provided his PowerPoint also on this. So what we've got here is member after member proving up these setups. Now, here we've got it right here. So what are the key considerations? And I'm just looking here on the charts. Uh, we still don't have, okay, it's about to open. So we'll see, and I'm just checking here just to make sure there's something but to show you. Yes, here we go. Okay, so we'll get back to this. So where are the pivots? You're gonna, you could trade pivots just alone, trading your T28s or your pivot magnet trades. What's a PM? That's a pivot magnet trade, and a PB is a bounce. Now there's, of course, complete instruction sheets and, and uh, cheat sheets with what all these abbreviations mean. What, and, and look, if you're new and you're looking at these saying, shoot, I'll never pick this up, for a start, stop saying that to yourself because I've been studying the science of learning for a long time. And what we say to ourselves, guess what? You're right if you say that. But on the other hand, isn't that interesting? It's something I've got to learn. Let me write that down, okay? It's just like, 
I have tried is we've got special what we call question sheets because questions that we ask can be empowering or disempowering. And that is I've got traders that all, particularly when they first start, uh, why do I always get this wrong? Now, when you say that to your mind or yourself, do you know what your, your brain says? Because you're a turkey. On the other hand, when you start to reframe it, what can I learn from this? What will I do differently next time? Now, this is a paradigm shift for many of you here. It works. The questions that we ask, are they empowering or disempowering? So I just wanted to say that you pick these up. Like the prior days, open, high, low and close, these are leading indicators and they plot automatically on our charts. So all you got to do is keep an eye on where are my pivots? Where are these? Where are the major EMAs? And we've got two majors that we use because on um, they act as pivot magnet trades and support resistance levels. The other thing is there, where are the prior days swing high, swing low levels? This is also very, sorry, where are the prior, not swing, so I was looking over at the ES just then, where are the prior swing highs and swing lows? And there's simple tools that will plot those for you. And the other thing, are you a scalper or a day trader? Meaning that you might be going for the larger moves, I'm a scalper, I prefer to get in and get out. I call it getting the cash register to ring. And so that is very, very important. And very quickly, the market is opened and look at this. Remember I said to you, come, what is it? Eight o'clock central, whatever it is, uh, uh, seven, eight o'clock uh, Eastern. What's that right there again? That there is the prior day's low, price rallied right up and we just bounce straight off it again. Okay, so these just, we see these every day and that's a 2B by the way. Now, when you enter a 2B, what you've got to be careful of is this, see straight in front of us. Now, we may punch straight through. When you take any trade, the question you ask yourself is, do I have blue skies ahead? Now, what do I mean by that? When you take a trade, what's directly in front of you? Because is that, see how we've got some resistance at that point right now. So we may bounce off here or we could punch through. Now, I want you to also notice this. This is called a MACD. Remember in John's email going back 12, 13 years ago, the platinum MACD, that's what that is, okay? Now, what, when you learn to read this, if this rallies up to this high again, we will have major divergence. This is a pattern, believe it or not. Once you understand, you'll go, aha, now I understand why it's a pattern. But if we bought here, you wanna be prepared. We could, be, we could bounce. See, you bounced off there, back here. We got through it, but we were bouncing off that level here. Now, I was about to say, I suspect we will punch through and see how we've got the cloud. So let me mark that. That is what we call a 2B just there. And let me just turn this on. For some reason, why don't I have that on? Let me just turn the super scalper on, which is the white super scalper. Now, what you actually do, traders, just here, and there's a risk to this. Our entry, we probably wouldn't have been filled until the third or the fourth candle up here. Let's just say we got in on the third. See how we've got resistance here. So what you can do is go to break even, okay, uh, and just sit there and wait. Because if it comes back and stops you out and reverses, it's become a free trade at least. On the other hand, if it keeps going, you're probably gonna hit your target on this trade. Now, what's our target? Now, as far as targets go, on the 6A, uh, your target there, a really good target is six to seven ticks, or of those little candles or bricks there actually, per one you just saw of those, okay? That's a really good, you get those little scalps all the time. Now remember, our target here is, is 100, to $125 a day on these markets, 
Okay. Once I get the five ticks, I want to go to break even. Okay. So once I'm up five, I want to go to break even. Now look at this here. See how we've stalled. So let me finish what I was saying about um, do we have blue skies? If we had have entered a trade down here, um, just there, okay, and for existing members in the room, see that there that is, you know what that is, that's a T10. So if you had have entered that one there, once you get past the 200, you've got blue sky all the way up to here, as you can see there, okay, up to the pivot. We entered this one, what's in front of me? I've got a pivot. Now, eventually we may get through. And this is where then you look at your higher time frame to see, and we'll get back to that in a moment. I'll go back to the charts just here. So as you can see, all of these are important. And once we get away from them or break free <laughs> of those levels, we've usually got what we call blue skies ahead. So let's go to the charts and let's just have a look and see if we can see a trade here setting up. So why don't we start off with, let's have a look at the ES and let me expand the Aussie up there so I can just keep an eye on that. Okay. All right. Um, first of all, let me just show you this on the Aussie because I just want to, uh, for any existing members in the room, uh, see that just there? This uh, trade, and let me change this. And I know it's chopping around and I'll try to slow down in a moment because there's some things here I'll, I really want to get across to you. Remember down here I said we've got a T10 just there. What's a T10? See my long-term stochastic trending up? See that little hook? That's a T10. Now, here you just had a T10 as well. We had a lower high and see how the long term's coming down, we get a hook. So that's also a T10 but you can have T10s and these setups will set up, and this is a 2B setting up by the way, if it does five, that's a 2B. Uh, see how the long-term stochastic here is trending down. See how you get that short-term stochastic hook? That's called a T10. Now, say if you've only got one screen or you're a new trader and you're lacking screens. Whoops, sorry, just get this, got to get this right here. What you can actually do is then with NinjaTrader, and there's a way of doing it with TradeStation, but I just can't remember how you do that, but you can actually overlay on your charts a higher time frame. So I can have my chart set up like this. So that was a 2B there. Let's call that a break even, and you've got a 2B just there, by the way. So what this is telling me, on the anchor chart, the anchor chart one is actually trending down at the moment. I want you to notice here that my EMAs are sideways here. This means these are a higher risk trade. Now that one there, we would have got out picking up one or two ticks profit. That's all we would have got because, oh, and by the way, that was a pivot magnet trade. Let me, forgive me there. That was also a pivot magnet trade. As uh, this is, but see how the, we've got the cloud we're trending into the pivot. The probability sort of drop off after the first move. Whoops, there we go. Just got to move this along. Oh, and see that little tool I've got there? What that is telling me is when the next candle's going to open or close. So that little tool is telling me that. Now, let's go and have a look at the anchor chart. Let me stop that from moving. So I'm gonna make you see sick in a minute. Let me come over here. Okay. <clears throat> Remember I mentioned to you a 2B is based upon multiple EMA bounces. Remember I also mentioned to you traders that um, uh, we've got certain EMAs when we bounce, it's very, very strong. That one there and that one there you can see the bounces here. Now this is a one tick, this is a two tick. Remember I also mentioned to you about time, um, uh, chart time frames. One tick is very quick and very sensitive. So if that was moving a little too fast, you jump up here to a two tick, 
and you jump here to a four tick. Ah, look at this. This is why you have and just behind here. I haven't got it open because what we're doing it, but see this here. You know how we're coming up there and bouncing? Look at this. Here is why traders. Okay, this is why uh, we have our three time frames: our entry chart and anchor chart one and anchor chart two. See how we bounced? We bounced. These are all T12s, and we've bounced again. So not only are we bouncing off the pivots here, but we're bouncing off our major EMAs, and we call those T12s, as I was pointing out to you 10, 15 minutes ago. So what I'd reckon, here's what most traders do if they're limited on screen space. So we'll do this. Let me just show you this. So they would have it set up like this whichever market they're trading. And what you do on a regular basis, you expand your charts just to get a feel of what's happening in the market. Now, for those where I was talking to you about divergence trading, and by the way, if you want to, I know some of you are perhaps running out of time. If it is in the go to webinar, it's before I want to, want to show you what you get for it, but there is a form there to sign up, which you can download if you choose to join. But this is here, these are all T12s. The reason we look at our anchor charts, the AC2, is which time frame do you think has the most influence over the market when you're trading? It's the higher time frame. Because on the lower time frames, we have a lot of what we call noise. Okay, you get a lot of smaller movements. Now before, when I was talking to you about divergence, and most of you in the room, if you're experienced, you've probably seen this. See how we've had a lower low on price and a higher low. See up here, higher high on price and a lower high. It came down, that was a 2B by the way, bounced up, virtually a triple top, and see how the MACD keeps dropping away. Traders, this is what we call divergence. So here we've got these uh, major divergence trades. So let's now go back to this and let's see if we can pick up a trade. So to pick up a trade now, what I need, I need a retracement, a trade to pull back up here so I can get a bounce. Now at the moment, let's expand the two tick here for a moment and let me put this on. Because what this little tool will do is tell me where price is probably, oh, wrong one, where is it? Swing raise, that one there. Because see these levels here, this will pick up and see how we've come down to this level. So we'll see if we get a bounce, but the next major low is down here. That's our next major low. So are we going to then get a, a trade uh, potentially come down this low? Before we get down, I'd like to see a retracement and a bounce in this region. One of the easiest rules to remember is do I have the cloud? See, I've got this orange cloud up here, the blue. See how the cloud is set up now? And notice the support at this little swing low we've got right now. See over here, we've got that one there and potentially one's up here. And notice how this is support at the moment. Now let's just have a look at this. Now notice how we've had all of these red candles. So for me to take a trade here, I need price to retrace and to then give me a green candle back in the direction of the trend. I'll just close the anchor chart one so you can see more. Whoops. So you can just see more here for now. Now, of course, this could pop all the way down to that swing low down here. But I don't have an entry here at the moment. So what I'd like to see this come up, as I mentioned, give me a green candle. Then where would my target be? 
Well, on my ATM, on my trading dome, I've got it set up as a fixed um, uh, six tick target. But I could also, on two contracts, but what I can also do is increase that. See this swing low here? That is your next logical bounce point. Now, if you look at this here, see how I've got the orange cloud. I've got the orange. All that is, is the order of the EMAs that we use. Note the support we found at that point. This is really easy stuff to pick up. Now, see this is picking up. See that there? We call that the fanning of the EMAs traders. This is called the fanning of the EMAs. There, we've got it there. Typically, we would have, typically that is, we would have a reversal setting up somewhere. Whoops, and let me go back to the one tick. <laughs> That's what I want to be on for this. That's it. And let me get back to the two tick. Sorry, everyone. I want to get back so we can enter. Because when you're on the lower time frame, also, you'll get a lot more trades set up. Now, let me now put in a set at, at 85. Okay, so what I've now got, see over here it says 185. And so what that tells me for this candle to close, that would have to close down there at 185. So I've got a resting order. So if that comes down and we can see it's flipped back, uh, we can see here that it's going back against me. So I can just cancel that order. Now this is always a challenge we're gonna have when we're trading in such a short time frame here is getting the trend right, getting it. But we'll keep looking for a trade here because what you've got to see is a fanning and a trending of your moving averages. Meaning when we get this here, and I'll show you something on the ES in a moment, we're looking for the market to be moving, okay? To be trending in a trend direction. For an example, on the ES right now, if we look at the two tick ES right now, and by the way, you don't want to be trading multiple markets unless you really know your stuff. See that there? That was right there, a potential 2B, just there. And when I say potential, what we want to know is what's happening on the anchor chart. So see that there? Let me show you this on the four tick. <laughs> now, there it is again. Now, just there, let me, so I'm just trying to stop this from moving around for you. What's that just there? We've bounced again off the major EMAs. Now, we may make it through here, and it looks like we're finally going to make it through. However, I would not have taken those trades. Why? Remember what I said earlier, and you should not have taken that trade, unless you really know your stuff, okay? Why? Remember I said to you, whenever we, now it's looking good because our long-term stochastic is up, okay? We're blue and we're blue. But remember earlier traders when I said to you, do I have blue skies ahead? Do we have blue skies ahead? Not yet, we don't because we've got a major EMA straight in front of us. What we've got to do is get above that, get a pullback, and then we can take a trade. So if we look at this in its true context right now, okay, we can see we're in a slight downtrend. Once, twice, you bounced off it. And the easy part is, there's only two of these that we need to really be worried about. The two major EMAs, our pivots and our open high, low and close will behave like this. Now, let me just go and apply this. Now we may punch through, but in the meantime, these can be account killers in the meantime. I'm just gonna put up this little swing indicator here as well. What you remember, the more indicators you've got open, by the way, traders, the greater the resources it can use on your computer. So we'll just wait a sec, this will come up here. 
So if we break this level, get up here, our next major target would be up here, but I'm not going to take this long. Bounce once, bounce twice, got, it, got up above, but then reversed. I think we're gonna get above, look at my long-term stochastic, but what I will wait, I'll be patient and wait for price to come up, pull back and then continue up, okay? And this is the thing of just being patient. Yes, that was a trade. Yes, that was one. We call that, by the way, a 200 EMA overshoot. So now we're popping up. So what we now need is a retracement back to your EMAs and to be trend following. Now, remember earlier we spoke about the T20 dash ones. Remember the blue arrows? And I said we didn't have one here. That is one, but you had the issue of the major EMAs. Now we can sit back and say, oh, Ray, but if you had have taken it, yes, if we had have taken that, we would have bounced. Had have taken that, we would have bounced here. Yes, you would have been okay on that one. It's not worth it, traders. This is a business of being patient. It truly is. Now, whilst we've been doing this, let me show you what's happening here. And there it is here. Now, can you remember what a T20-1 is? Can everyone remember? You've got the arrow, price rallies up, it comes back and we bounce. That there is a 2B. Why is that a 2B and why is that a 2B? Look over on your anchor chart. We're bouncing, we're bouncing. Those are both 2Bs as that was a 2B. Not only is that a 2B, it's also a T20-1. What's the rules again for a T20-1? You wanna see price rally up, pull back, bounce off your EMAs and away you go. What about here? Here's my T20, yes, sold in, but then we bounce straight up for a 2B. So these 2Bs, you just had one there. Now this one here, for you would have uh, still been in that one with this one. Now, see how we've bounced off the pivot again. Now, for the members that are in the room, you probably remember uh, last week, I, and what I'll do, how I manage these, I'll pull my target. So let me explain how we actually trade around pivots because this is a mistake that so many traders have. They say, look, you're buying to these areas, um, you're not getting your two to one. Traders, we take what the market will give us. It's ridiculous to say you're gonna go for a two to one return every time. What's in front of you? If you've got a brick wall in front of you, you're gonna bounce off it. So what I mean by that is, if you take, say a pivot magnet trade, which is what this one is as well. If you know your pivot is four or five ticks in front of you. Now on the ES for an example, that's 62.50 is five ticks or 50 is four ticks. Uh, on this market, it's only $20 per contract. Remember though, you're only after your 100 and 125 net a day. Uh, when you buy into a pivot magnet trade, I recommend that if you're trading multiple contracts, you take one off at the pivot, you go to break even on your second one, and you can leave your higher target, your, your second target up here in case you do punch through. But the true secret with pivot magnet trades, when we buy into a, a major area, we expect this to happen. We expect a bounce. And you can see there, if you hadn't taken profits, you would have been stopped on it anyway. These are a good 85 to 90% trade. Now, one of the secrets to trading these is you only wanna be four to six ticks away from a pivot. It's no good say down here saying, oh, there's the pivot up there, it's too far. Remember how a magnet reacts, okay? It's got to act like a magnet. You've got to buy into that. Now, another simple rule. What did I say about the clouds? Orange cloud is short. 
blue cloud is long. What color is that? Blue. What color is my anchor chart? It's blue. You want to be following the trend. Now, another thing you can do to make it really simple or to remove the noise. Now, here's a great example just here. If this closes long, see this candle here? We call that a rule of one. See that first candle there that closed after those two red? See this one? just here, they're called, and just there, that's called a rule of one. When you have a rule of one, okay, you, using this indicator, you can put your buy order in using this. And what that does, it stops you into the trade or puts you in the trade automatically. Now, with a rule of one, there's one other thing that we need to help confirm it and it's called a short-term stochastic hook, and it's easy. So that was a 2B, that's a 2B, that's a 2B. What's a short-term stochastic hook? See this down here. See these hooks here? What that is, traders, is a long-term stochastic and a short-term. So what I've got here is my long term's trending in the direction of a trend, beautiful. I've got the hook, thank you. And these setups have been around for many, many years, by the way. It's called the slingshot, by the way. If, ever, if you're an experienced trader, that's called the slingshot trade. Just see, so you've got a slingshot there, you had one down here. Now, this one's a little bit problematic, and I'll tell you why. That one did not hook until the second candle. See how that hooked on the first candle, that hooked? When you are over oversold or overbought, like up here, it'll hook generally on the first candle. But what that does when you've got the cloud, you've got your long-term stochastic, you've got everything stacked in your favor. What you can do is step it up one step further and you can cheat a little by doing this. We can then go and put it on, on my entry chart. So see down here, there's that hook that didn't quite hook. See that hook? I've got double hooks appearing on two time frames, yet I've only got one chart open. Now, what is that telling me? Number one, I'm blue. What direction? do I want to be trading in, long only? My long-term stochastic is up on both, this is the this chart and this is the high time frame. What is the trend biased? Where have we bounced again? Off the prior day's low again. Now, let's go back to the ESRO, it's, it's uh, where is it here? got to show you this. Remember I said we'd need a retracement or a pullback here. Uh, so here was our breakout. I'll give you one little to give you one little tip here. And what you can also do is this. So if you've only got one screen, if you go and put on a 600 EMA, uh, what do I want? Where is it? If I go and put on a 600, right here. See that there? That tells me approximately what's happening with that line here. So remember I mentioned we need a retracement and a pullback before we can take a trade. We had one there and you had one right there. Remember I said to you there are two key setups that you've got to learn. What are they? a 2B and a 34B. That is your 34B just there. And that, well, it's really an extension of that one. But see how we broke above it, come back down, and now we've got the hook just here. If you miss that one, this is your next trade. Now, where would my entry be? Because remember, and this is important, there's a couple of things when you trade. Where's my entry? Where's my target? Where's my stop loss go? 
when we trade these markets traders, if you got two entries, we can either use the super scalpel, which is the white paint bar, not gonna be into the third or the fourth candle, or you can enter using the ruler one, which is that first candle. Now with that first candle, you're not going to be in to the close of a second candle. So you're in there, your stop loss goes there. And by the way, that would mean I've got an, uh, an eight tick stop loss. That's what that'd be, that'd be an eight tick stop loss. So my apologies, six ticks, sorry. I'm thinking of a super scalp, six ticks. Now on the ES, which is this is, that would be a $75 stop loss. Okay, so guess what my target is as a minimum? $75, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 75, now there's another, let's say, now just there, that's a 34B. Now what we've got to watch here is, uh, watch your high, so as a target, this will be your high, that's a 2B now on, let me just get this. So see how you had two red candles? Okay, so that means you wouldn't have been in till here. Your stop loss would be one tick below. Just like here, your stop loss is one tick below. Now on this market, okay, uh, uh, eight ticks is $100. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just because we touched it, see how we went up there and we touched, does not mean your order was filled, as most of you are well aware of that. Okay, so what we'd have here, and I'm not set up to trade the ES in this session, session so I'll go back to the 6A in a moment. But just there, if you were in this trade, and let me quickly expand this. Okay, so this is the what we call the Globex high, by the way. This is the high of the day. Remember, you're in it, your stop loss is down here. Remember earlier I also said, you've got to watch divergence, you've got to learn divergence. And divergence is where you start to make these lower highs. Okay, that's called divergence. When you start to get that, your trend trades are much more likely to fail. So when we start to make lower highs, we've got higher highs on price, got lower highs, it's setting up against us. But let's get back to this. Now here is another 2B setup, I've been yapping away. Now, very simple setup, it kicks butt. Do I have a blue cloud? Yes. Do I have the support of the long-term stochastic, uh, not so much here. What's the anchor chart, tell me? Yes. Do I have multiple EMA bounces? Yes and yes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is another 2B long, just there. So what you had there was that one there, but you would have still been in it. So this one here, you wouldn't have got your target, that only ticked up four, three or four ticks. So one, two, and now you've got your next one there. Now, realistically though, I've got to tell you, you're not gonna be in until your third or the fourth candle. Your third or your fourth candle. And we still don't have blue sky ahead. So what I might do is get back to this, um, back to our PowerPoint here, show you a few more things. And I wanna show you something on the ES. So I know it's getting late for some of you. So let me go back to this and show you this here. So I'm gonna go through this and we'll go back. I wanna go back through trade by trade on the ES for you. So I wanna be your coach um, and I'll coach you for $2.08 an hour. So let me explain how that works. Now, first of all, I've been going through some concepts with you very, very quickly. And your first session, like here, I'm just jumping from one chart, trying to show you all these setups and potential opportunities here. Uh, my job is to make it as simple as possible, okay? And you do it over a number of hours. And this is one thing, everyone expects you can pick it up in half an hour. You Realistically, you need 20 
hours of screen time and coaching. That's the reality. You know, you, just like you, you can't go and read a book on how to swim and jump in the pool and expect to swim or read a book on how to play the piano. Okay, you've got to be shown step by step. Now, how I do that is the last five years plus, I've been running live coaching and live trading room sessions. So here, uh, for an example, we're now in the October sessions. I run two two-hour live sessions where I'm coaching traders live and they are recorded for traders around the globe. They log in, so 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I run those sessions, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, and in those sessions, Oops, and here I'm actually jumping ahead a bit there. What have I missed? I was going to show you what I cover with those. But anyway, uh, I'll get back to that. That was ahead a bit. Um, now, of course, what do I do? That, do, I have, do I have moved that one? So the options here for coaching, this is not about selling my one-on-one -on -one clients because I can only do two, uh, uh, two a month. That's all I've got. And that's my challenge. I'm limited on time because of running the rooms. If you wanted one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what not what this is about. It's 4,997. I can only do two a month because it's 16 hours each. Yes, if you want to get up and running super fast track, it's the way to go. But on the other hand, you might want the money for your trading account. And I'm charging 7,000 basically from January. But that's not what this is about today. I've got what I call my Inner Circle Platinum Program. What that consists of traders is my Day Traders Fast Track program, which has got literally hundreds of hours of recordings, all of the indicators, um, doesn't matter which trading platform you're on. If we don't have the indicator for your platform, I give you the indicator settings. You can set up just about any indicator to do what I do. It also includes two hour, two two hour, um, private group coaching sessions. That is typically I've got between one and 300 traders in those sessions. They can type in questions and there's handouts. And I also run three two hour live sessions where I'm focused on the market and executing live trades as well as explaining the setup. So purpose of a room is training you. And yes, you can download to join. You can download the document from go to webinar. Yes. Now with this, I just want to be very quick on this. This is not meant to be a big thing about testimonials. Okay, this is how you make money with these setups. Trading with the trend, the pivot bounces, bouncing off the EMAs. Uh, from Mark here, six winners, one loss, 220. Feel free to share. And what, what I encourage is members to share what they've got with other members. Okay, that's what I encourage them to do. Uh, now, this is uh, Jan, um, over 50 trading teachers. Uh, Amanda here, okay, incredible value. There's nothing else like this. This is, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. 550 after commissions. Uh, what do we got down here? And this is from uh, Ali. Now, this is 90% um, win rate. Now, uh, averaging 30 points net, 34 Bs. Now look what he's trading, 34 Bs, two Bs and T28s. Now with with these, these are emails that were not sent in as testimonials. These are general information emails. And here I wanted to confirm your great point about decision, that Ali's a professor, about your decision fatigue. And what that is traders is that, um, Traders become fatigued and as you spend more time trading, the greater the amount of time, the more likely you are to make mistakes. It's called decision fatigue. And any more than three hours of solid trading is pushing the envelope. That is the reality, okay? Um, screenshot after screenshot sent in from members where they just send these in. So how do I actually do it for $2.08? Well, let me run through this. First of all, there are three parts really to this program. There's the Day Traders Fast Track program, which I'm not gonna go through what you've got there. It's been described literally as a gold mine. There's um, over 30 PowerPoints. There's, I think there's actually over 40 now. Hundreds of hours of coaching, all the indicators, et cetera, et cetera. It is a $10,000 program, traders. 
you look at what you've got there, there's nothing, there is nothing else like it. Because what I've got there is not only my stuff, my research from 27 years, but also members send in what they're doing, their PowerPoints. And, and by the way, don't put it all in. If it's a rehash or if perhaps it's very, what's what's a discretionary, I won't include it. Or if it's offline to what I teach, I won't include it. But what you're gonna learn is all of these setups, but I've already given you the warning, we start with one or two. And what you'll learn in there, the best time frames, the best time of day, the best strategies, which are the best indicators, etc. I've also hired a hypnotherapist, and that is, uh, I've got, um, and I think it's even here, uh, trading affirmations, hypnotherapy sessions uh, recorded for my members. Traders, this is 90% head stuff. It truly is 90% head stuff, 10% or 5% money management, 5% the strategy. So I've got that folder. It is a trading psychology, um, NLP, which I talk a lot about, the discipline trader. There's so many webinars I've run for members uh, in that area. There are hundreds of videos. Now, before you go, crumbs, Ray, I'm never gonna get to live trading. Now, you're only gonna refer to some of these uh, should you be really studying a topic or a setup or, you know, I, I call it the golden hour, the, the, the hour of power, but because there's a whole spreadsheet of this. There's a couple of hundred videos there. There's, there literally is hundreds of marked up charts. Like, and we're not gonna visit the Google Drive, but if I was to go there and we were to open each folder, you will find there's handouts and dozens of them in some strategy PowerPoints. As I mentioned, I think it's close to 40 different PowerPoints in there right now. Uh, handouts, I've already mentioned, there's dozens of handouts. PowerPoints here on the overshoot, the T12, the T2s, okay, trading divergence. Uh, and if you scalp, there's dozens of handouts there on scalping. There's reference guides and cheat sheets, okay? Uh, I've already mentioned to you and shown you briefly the spreadsheets that I've had created. So you can actually go and tailor your trading plan. And this is very important traders, that we tailor your plan. And then also, how many trades a day do you need to take? This is another thing that you're not taught usually. You say if you're trading oil, and your target is $200 a day. You've got an eight tick stop loss, which is $80. Remember I mentioned on all you need 4,000. What's 2% of that? It's $80 and your target's eight, eight ticks. And you've got a 75% win loss ratio. On average, you're going to need to scalp six trades a day. So you can play around with these spreadsheets on your win loss ratios. Now, this is a never ending, uh, you've got to become what I call a student of the markets. It's a continuous process. And that is then we've got my coaching. So I've got my core program, the day traders fast track program, all of the resources. Then we've got the coaching and that's where it's live. And we're going through the psychology of trading. I'm explaining rather than live trading in these sessions, step by step, how to trade, um, where we put our stops, why, how we read our open high, low and close, et cetera, et cetera. Now in those, if you open up the folder, you then got, for example, on this particular day, we'd be talking about income targets, the chart time frames. are you struggling mentally? We never ever get through all the handouts, by the way. <laughs> All right, so you never get through them. The 1% rule, that is improving 1%. We're covering that. And once again, time frames, a time of day, we're going over dozens of examples each day, including members' questions and answers they send in. I won't go through all of that. You can probably get an idea. All of the indicators, the settings I use, etc. Then we've got the live trading room. That's where the rubber reach, meets the road. Now, a live trading room is not designed for you just to come in and just to execute the trades I take. Sometimes I'll only take two or three trades. 
Sometimes I'll take eight. It's about learning how to trade yourself. I'll sometimes say, don't take this trade because it's a lower probability trade and I might take it, but I'm willing to take for loss. Unless you've got a fanning of the EMAs, you're not gonna take the trade. And this is where uh, they're all recorded. So you watch me trade live and I explain where to enter, where to place your stop. So this is a screenshot. For an example, a short trade here I took, here was a long trade, here was another short trade. Uh, yeah, and that was one was all the way down here. So that's where I'm teaching you step by step. Okay, like that was what we call a 2D, a double bottom, a 3B. Okay, so I'm teaching you in real time. Now, one of the challenges when we do trade, we don't always get in the hour and a half, two hours where they're nice trendy markets. And that's where sometimes we'll sit back and there's gonna be, can I say it, stuff all for us to do. You've gotta have a fanning of the EMAs. You've gotta have a trending market. Every day you'll get trending market, but sometimes you've got to wait an hour or two for it. Trade stats from members, 13 wins, two losses. I was on the last, uh, nice little uh, 34 Bs, four trades. Uh, oh, one member was saying he had to go off to his job. J-O-B, just over broke, I call that. Um, uh, this is April. This is April who's got the Heiken Ashi, um, the hard chart concept that uh, I taught her. Um, here, as she said here, uh, the opportunity, um, I don't charge enough. Was that it on this one here? Oh, we we're just talking about that in the room. I said, I'm gonna have to start charging you guys more. And they said, well, you don't charge uh, enough here. Okay, so the three components. If you go to my website, uh, you can buy the Day, Day Traders Fast Track tra programs, $197. Okay, that's everything, all your indicators, that's the works. And you could just do that traders, by the way. Next one is, I give you three months of the private group coaching sessions. That's $197 a month. Go to my website, that's what it is. It's $591 for that time. My live trading room, 12 sessions a month, is also $197 a month. It's $597. So you can ask questions, type them in. I'm explaining you step by step. And we're mainly trading the micros, by the way. Most of the members are starting off with the micros, but you apply the same concepts to any market. Now these sessions, one week, it's 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I know it's early, and five to seven the other weeks. Okay, so six sessions a month, five to seven. If you can't attend, uh, it, you, they are recorded. Okay, so otherwise the hours are crazy for me. Now, for this, if you choose to go ahead today, and I just don't want to say today because it's, I don't want to seem like I'm slamming you to go and buy, but I'll give you a bonus of an extra three months. So in other words, sorry, let me just turn that off. It's going to be a, te a telemarketer. Oh, sorry, let me kill this. This is always a way, isn't it? is that I'll give you six months to my live trading room, six months to my live coaching room, plus I'll give you 12 months or 96 of a recorded live coaching sessions. So you can watch the coaching sessions from the last year as well. So your investment for that is $497, saving you over $2,000 on the website. So it gives you six months of me coaching you, six months in my live trading room. It also gives you the, uh, the Day Traders Fast Track program. Now, if you're already a member of the Day Traders Fast Track program, and I can see we've got some members here, uh, I'll save you, you, you can take $100 off that. So you've already probably paid $197. Uh, so you can take $100, it's only uh, $397, which basically is $3.31 for every live recorded two hour session. Less than a cup, cup of coffee. As I say here, for each two hour session, it's less than a cup of coffee. 
okay, for live coaching. Now, if you're interested in joining, which if you want to, this will be the last program you ever have to invest in. Traders, this is what I do full time. In the GoToWebinar folder there, you can download a little Word document there where it's got the, the two links. One, if you're an existing member, and the other one is if you're not a member at the moment. Okay, so if you're not a member uh, there, or if you are a member, you can download that. So for not $497, you've got the works. There's nothing else for you to have to buy. If you want to drop me an email, uh, by the way, normally I'd have my trader email there, but um, crazy domains, their servers are all down today. So I haven't been getting my emails for 16 hours. So you can use my other, that's my support email, if you wish to contact me. Now, for those that want to hang around, so come and join me, 497. There is, look, there are a ton of courses out there. They'll sell it for five, $500, $2,000, $3,000. Here, they're not giving you what I give you. I'm giving you six months of coaching. Enough selling. What I want to do, for those who want to stick around a few minutes, uh, on Monday, just gone, um, it's, uh, by the way, it's Friday morning in my part of the world, Thursday night in the US. I was preparing a training video for existing, for existing members. And I just thought, so this was for members, and I thought I'll just show you this, just on the two Bs. And that jumped out of there. Why did that, that's me to B. There, I don't know why that happened before too. And that was actually marked up as a, whoops, let me turn this off, and I'll explain this to you traders. And just, just trading the two Bs, because, Oops, and the existing members in, in the room here, you know that these are all too busy. Now, this is a lost question mark. So when the market opens, you're waiting the first two, five minutes. You might have taken that one right into the bounce period, but then you had the second one. Now also, if the market, this is on the ES, if the market is too fast, you increase the time frame. It doesn't matter what time frame you're trading. Yes, if we go from a two tick to a four tick, all you're gonna have is less trades, okay? But if the market's moving quickly, it's gonna set up more trades anyway, if that makes sense, okay? So you had two two Bs there. Now, <clears throat> we have a, excuse me, sorry about that. I have a setup called the T4, very logical. If we have a failed two B, Usually it sets up and reverses straight away. It's called a T4. One day recently I had seven, uh, that was called a 2BD by the way, I won't go into why, but I had seven of those, but then I had seven winning T4s in a row straight after. Now, what I want you to notice here is the angulation. See how prices, see the wider the cloud, the wider the EMAs, that usually means you're more likely to have a market reversal. These become a higher risk trade. Now, we then rallied up. Technically speaking, that was a 2B, you were bouncing. However, you were also trading against the clown. See here, we still had the cloud and you had it on your higher time frame. Then you had two 2Bs two set up straight after. Now for existing members in the room, you'll get the link tomorrow to this video. Okay, so, and you've, it's got me uh, discussing every setup for you in, in that as well. Uh, here is another case of a 2BD. And a 2BD, by the way, uh, traders, is after we have major divergence. It's a 2B, we've got multiple uh, EMA bounces, but it's much more likely the D simply means you've got a two bounce, but the D after major divergence, another T4. That was a 3B, thank you very much. 2B, thank you very much. 2B, thank you, thank you. And every single 2B is, is set up here. Now, this was a very deep, to be, and we actually call this traders, and let me show you this on the anchor chart, because this is good for you to see this and understand 
the logic behind these setups. And that's important is logic. Um, from a research background, what's what I want to know is, okay, well, on what basis? Give me the basis on why this is so high probability. If we then go turn the back off again, I've just got to make sure. Global. Now I'll turn it on here, otherwise it moves on the other one. Here we go. Ah, look here. See how I've got an overshoot. That's what we call it, an overshoot this there, past the EMA. Look over on here. What have I got here? <clears throat> I've got a bounce straight off the 89. Then we get the reversal. Now that's a much higher risk one. It's a very deep pullback. But immediately, see the orange cloud, orange cloud, that is a 2B. That there is a 2B. Now just here, I had a 2B, but even more in 2BD, but even more importantly is this. Remember I spoke to you about our T12 setups. There we are bouncing again. Trading, taking that trade there, see that red candle? That's it there. Remember one of our key rules, whenever we take a trade, do I have blue skies ahead? Well, no, I don't because I'm trading at around, I've got a pivot below me, but I'm trading uh, right up to 200. There we had another T4, by the way. Come back down, 2B, thank you very much. Now we had right there, that was a 2B and it was a T12 on both anchor charts. And I had divergence. Now, now we're sort of hitting, by the way, here I'm hitting a bit of a danger zone. Uh, and the reason this is a danger zone, you don't know it really. It, yes, this is a nice winning trade. What you've got to really watch is when your EMAs are sideways. The number one question is, do I have a fanning of the EMAs? Comes back down, okay, we had a nice swing. There's another nice one. So I've, once again, I've marked up every single, whether it's a winner or a loser, every single one. Now, that's a 34B. That's why that's not marked up. I've only taken the two Bs. Now, see this here. I've marked it up. Uh, well, I put it there. What are we taking it? Probably uh, it's a 200 overshoot and a bounce. I just wanted to mark out it is um, sideways here. Now, would have we made any money out of that one? Well, in fact, one, two, three, four, five, you hit your break even. So you would have hit your break even. Uh, you might have locked in a couple of ticks stop, a um, uh, couple of ticks profit, but you got to break even. But this is where we've got to be careful. Now, where we will trade around flat areas is if we've got a T12. Now, why was that a T? Ah, oh, there it is there. See down here, we're bouncing again. It's called, that's the T12 setup. It's a mechanical setup. Now, what about that just there? Is that a setup? Because hang on, Ray, you're saying that two Bs, you've got your three white. No, it's not because it's, it's red on the anchor chart. Can you see traders how these are mechanical? Maybe you can't quite see it. These are mechanical rules. Okay, so now we've got other trade, like these, we've got T20s all over the place. But here, T20s is a setup, is your next step. What I say to traders, master the two Bs and 34 Bs, two B. Now that was a two B there as well, but you're already in that one. Now these moves here, just remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy five hundred dollars you get a pivot band. Now that's a 34 B right there. See how we sold into the pivot and we bounced, finally went through, there's a T3. Now, this is a really important setup. It's called a bet the farm. When you hear me talk about bet the farms, this is tongue in cheek, by the way, right? Um, they're just a very, there's a couple of things on the chart that a little bit of a trade secret. I can't give you the full recipe, um, but very, it's just a great setup when we have a bet the farm, but we still never break 2B, 34B, by the way. 
Now these are called 21Bs. Remember that um, research paper I had from John Shearley going back 15 years ago? Uh, we expanded uh, the research. Deeper pullbacks give you generally better moves, by the way. Now watch this here. See what we're pulling back. Pulling back, now look at the angulation, but we're about to get a 2B no down. I can't remember, that's, there it is right there. Okay, so now we're pulling back, we're pulling back, and there it is there. Now note here, you're bouncing off your major EMA. Now I've marked up here, ev this is the two tick, every single one. Now, note we're pulling back, get ready. There it is there. Now, can you see this is mechanical? Now, before you ask, why don't you just code this? Traders, the brain is the greatest computer in the world. And what we can tell is when we've got a fanning of the EMAs, uh, is that yes, there's some fan, and we've even got, I'm just trying to think, uh, Andrew, one of my members, has coded the two Bs. It's, no, sorry, that's not true. He coded the slingshots and the 34 Bs, as so did uh, John Shearley. The fact is that when you hit your sideways action, okay, that's when you get the crap stopped down, okay? And the beautiful thing about your two Bs, they're generally deeper pullbacks which means you've got greater time to get ready for them. Now, this here is a $200 move, by the way. That's what that is. And that's a trade entry within itself just there. Um, it's called a 13B, by the way. Right, look where we bounced. Look where we bounce. Now, the greater in a trend too. Now, see how we're coming down to this swing? Let's just see if we're getting a resistance. Oh, a little bit, not much. So traders, so for now, as we're coming back, bang. Now there's a T4. Now usually a T4 then means a change in market direction. Now see as we're coming up here, what's gonna happen up here? Watch, bang. Do you think I might be on the summit here traders? So, um, and I've got here the message here, follow the cloud. Okay, so that signifies there we've got a change in market direction. So traders, I've covered, we didn't get any real live trade, but I've covered, you know, if you can't see it now, you never will. These, and look at this here on the on the 6A right now. Remember, I just, we were just talking about the T20-1s. There it is, right there again. Now, you had a T20-1, a mechanical setup right there, we didn't get uh, we didn't get one here, but note here we got one right here. Uh, and by the way, you would have probably wrapped up your, your trading for the day over the last two hours on the Aussie dollar. Now, what you get is what I didn't cover with you is I've already mentioned to join, download this. It'll there's your links, but you get all of these. So if you're trading the micros, of course, I've got all of these where you've got the Aussie dollar or the other markets, et cetera, where you're trading the big markets. These are just some of the dozens of handouts that you get traders, right? We're giving you tick values. What you need, these aren't going into your targets, but what the suggested timeframes are. And we use these in all of our coaching sessions. So traders, uh, thank you very much for attending today. Uh, I certainly hope that it's been an eye opener for you. Come and join us. If you're interested in a career as a day trader, you can start part-time, build full-time. The market's open basically 23 hours a day. It doesn't matter what market you trade or what chart type you use, these strategies work. So thanks very much for attending traders. Look forward to seeing you in one of my coaching or trading rooms. Thanks traders.